Now, write down these modes. I had explained what is the electric potential energy of a charge in the previous class. Simply explanation is taken. Work done by any external by an external force against any conservative force in the displacing the body will be stored in the body. When the displacement is there in the body, then work is done. That work done will be stored in the body in the form of energy. That energy is called potential energy. If the body is displaced in the gravitational field, then the energy the energy stored in the body is called gravitational potential energy. If the body is spaced against the what? The spring force, then the energy stored in the body is called spring potential energy. If a charge is displaced, especially here charge should be displaced, the body is charged, it is displaced in the electric field of a certain configuration of charge. Configuration of charge is combination of charges, not only single charge. Is there or even single charge is also there, then it generates the field or no, uh, multiple charges are there in the space, then also it generates the field around it, a resultant field it generates. That the field is called the field due to the configuration of char charge, configuration of charges. Okay, configuration of single charge, then it also generates charge field around it. If number of charges are there, multiple charges are there in the space. It is called configuration of charges. That configuration of charges all together produces a resultant field in the electric field topic we have studied. It. Okay. So if a charge is displaced in the field of configuration of charges, then automatically the work is done in displacing the charge. If any body is displaced, work is done. The work done is stored in the charge, in the charge only the form of an energy, energy is called electrostatic potential energy. Why the word static? Because the configuration of charges is at rest. Static means at rest. That's why the word electrostatic potential energy, hence onwards, let us no need to refer it again and again. Electrostatic simply refer it as electric potential energy and then hence on simply potential energy in this topic. Okay. So that definition I will give. So, if a test charge Q, small q, is displaced from one point R, in the figure it is taken here in the point R, to another point P, to another point P, in the electric field, in the electric field of a set of, of in the electric field of a certain configuration of charges. So here I have taken a single charge plus Q. Okay, therefore electric field of Q, electric field generated by the source charge Q, okay, plus Q. Uh, configuration of charges, comma, work is done. Because any body charge is also a body, it displays the work is done. Work done by the external force. Actually, I have to move the charge by an external force. Just try to understand an important point here in the explanation. This is positive. The test charge is also positive. Therefore, this electrostatic force of repulsion automatically this charge is released and it's moved, it moves upwards. Why? Because so there is an electrostatic force of repulsion V plus Q and this is positive, positive test charge minus Q. Okay? Then when it is moved on its own in the upward direction, in order to move it inwards, I have to apply an external force. Then only this charge will be moving towards the force charge Q from the point R to the point P. Work done by the external force against the electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion. Suppose the test charge is or uh, force charge is negative, say, test charge is positive, say, that's a force of attraction. Then automatically charge will this charge Q will be attracted by plus Q and automatically it moves on its own. But in that case, in order to move it from R to P and so R to P, I have to apply an external force in the outward direction. So in the outward direction, so that the external force applied is equal to electrostatic force of attraction.
interaction if the electrostatic force and the external force are equal and opposite the net force is zero and the charge will be displaced from the net charge will be zero in that case net force is zero then according to Newton's uh, what it is uh, second law then there is no acceleration in the body net force f is equal to m if f is zero and the acceleration is zero acceleration zero does not mean that the body is at rest body is moving with a constant speed if the external force on its if, uh, what it is it is a negative charge and it is a positive test charge automatically the charge is attracted by plus q small is attracted by uh, minus capital q so it is negative then, so but in order to what it is move it slowly without acceleration from r to p i have applied an external force in the opposite direction so that applied force is equivalent at opposite to the uh, electric force so that net charge will be zero then the charge will be displaced from r to p without any acceleration okay so in that case also work is done anyhow to displace the charge external force is necessary the external force applied is against the electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion so electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion is path independent this work done is path independent the charge is displaced in this path or along this path or along the straight line path the work done will be same the work done is path independent then the force involved in that case is called not the external force the already existed force electrostatic force here is called the conservative force the work done against the conservative force is stored in the body in the form of electric potential in the form of potential energy okay e path the for the charge is displaced from r to p along this path or along this path or along the straight line path what then will be same therefore the electrostatic field or electrostatic force is conservative in nature it is path independent work done against this force is path independent hence the work done against the conservative forces will be stored in the body in the form of an energy that energy is called potential energy in this case also the work done against the electric electrostatic force will be stored in the charge in the form of an energy that energy is called electric potential energy okay hence electric force is conservative force uh, conservative force work done by an external force against the conservative electrostatic force is stored in the charge in the form of an electric potential energy you know by you okay so that explanation i have taken okay once once again i will repeat so this writing you can follow if it is loaded on the computer you can follow it otherwise by follow my voice and write down the notes explanation is taken if a test charge q small q is displaced from one point r to another point p in the electric field of certain configuration of charges work is done to stop work done by the external force against the electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion is path independent hence electric force is conservative force work done by an extra to stop external force against the conservative electrostatic force is stored in the charge in the form of electric potential energy electric potential energy denoted by u symbol is u okay now come to the definition here the charge r q is displaced from r to p from any path so against the electrostatic force the charge is displaced with the help of external force because here is the charge test charge q here is the force charge plus q suppose both are positive say then automatically the test charge will be repulsive means it will push it when it is test charge is set to free set to uh, sorry is allowed to move freely is set free then automatically it moves upwards because there is a force of repulsion but by the external force i am pushing it inwards so how much external force is up to be applied which is equal and opposite to the electric electric force and equal and opposite two forces are equal and opposite external force and electric force are equal and opposite say then both the forces can
cancels each other, net force will be zero. When net force is zero, the body moves with constant speed, means with zero acceleration. Okay, that concept is to be understood in this particular topic. If the external force is more than the electric force, then the charge moves with an acceleration. Okay. Uh, Definition, coming to the definition, the charge Q is displaced from charge plus Q test charge plus positive test charge is displaced from R to P against the electrostatic force of repulsion between the plus Q and this test charge plus a small Q by an external force from R to P in any path or other will be same. The full electro electric field or electric force is conservative in nature. Work done by the external force in moving the charge Q from R to P will be stored in the charge in the form of potential energy. That potential energy is called electric potential energy. It's all explanation of one and a half hour to one day. One hour to one day. We add session to one day. Electric potential energy, potential energy, had birthday, etc. So, definition. And electric potential energy, one definition I will give. Energy of charge Q. It is the energy possessed by the, this charge, which is charge you are moving, you know, that charge is getting that energy, electric energy. Each test charge is moving, it is a charge energy, okay, source so, charge, test charge, which charge is displaced, which body is displaced, that body gets the energy. Here test charge is displaced from R to Q, R to P, therefore test charge gets the potential energy, electric potential energy. Electric potential energy, I am just giving the definition of electric potential energy of the charge Q at a point P. What is the electric potential energy of the charge Q at the point P? Okay. At the point P in the field bar of a certain charge, of a certain configuration of charges. Electric potential energy of a charge Q. At the point, at the point P, point P, uh, at the point P. If a any charge, test charge Q, is placed in the field of an ex, uh, field of a certain configuration of charges, try to understand what is the field of so when a charge is there around the charge there will be an electric field. Okay, the combination of charges are also there. Then also there is a resultant electric field E bar. So one test charge here is a H configuration of charges around it there is a electric field one test charge is brought and placed at the point P this is the charge this is the test charge Q is brought and placed in the field of this charge configuration configuration of charges automatically this charge acquires the potential energy electric potential energy okay so now I am giving the definition of electric potential energy of this charge at the point P where it is placed at the point P in the space where the P is, point P is in the field of the charge configuration, okay? Configuration of charges, not charge configuration, configuration of charges, miscombination of charges, even single charge, but for the discussion, let us take the source charge is not a configuration of charges, but a single charge plus Q, let us take, okay? Uh, electric potential energy of charge Q, test charge Q, at a point P in the field E bar of a certain configuration of charges is the work done is the work done the electric potential energy is the, of a charge is the work done by the external force actually work is done by which force external force now to move the charge now to bring the charge and to place it at the point P so I have to apply the external force okay so work done by the external force, where the external force, which is external force, is, which is equal and opposite to the electrostatic force. So this is the test charge. This is the configuration of charges between the configuration of charges and the test charge. Always there is a force of attraction or repulsion. That is called electric force. This external force is applied to overcome the what electrostatic force of attraction and repulsion. Then only the test charge can be displaced from one point to the another point. The work done by an external force which is equal and opposite to the electrostatic force. Therefore, external, external force applied in displacing the charge, the field of certain configuration of charges 
e g equals to minus a p, a p means electric force, yeah, capital E of one, capital E. Minus means equal and opposite, both are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, okay. In this the point is important, electric potential energy of a charge q, is actually the work with that, electric potential energy when a charge q is displaced in the, is moved, displacement means is moved in the field of a certain configuration of charges and automatically the charge gets the potential energy. So what is the potential energy of the charge at a point P? Electrostatic force in the moving the charge from infinity to the point P. Okay. So that is the electric potential energy of the charge of the point P. Okay. So try to understand. Here is the charge, test charge Q. It is brought from infinity, from where? Infinity to a point P, where this point P lies in the field of certain configuration of charges. Then the charge is, test charge Q is displaced from infinity to the point P. It is a hypothetical, uh, what it is, uh, thing. So you are taking the moving the charge and displacing the charge from infinity to the point P practically is not possible. It is a hypothetical definition. Okay. Moving the charge discharge Q from infinity to the point P by an external force. The charge discharge Q is displaced from infinity to the point P by an external force. To move the body, external force is necessary. This external force is equal and opposite to the electrostatic force of attraction and repulsion between the test charge and the configuration of charges. Then work will be done. The work will be done, will be stored in the charge in the form of an energy. That energy is called electric potential energy of the charge at the point P. Okay. So that is the definition. So therefore UP, electric potential energy at the point. U is the electric potential energy symbol. No? P indicates at the point P. Is equal to work done. Actually, this electric force is variable in nature, not a constant force. At the distance between the source charge and the test charge, this is the source charge which generates the field. In that field, this test charge is displaced. At the distance between the source charge and the test charge is less, then the electric force is more. If the distance between the source charge and the test charge is more, then the electric force of attraction repulsion will be less. Because electric force formula is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r square. So it is q1 into q2. Okay. Charge q1 into q2 upon r square. If the distance r is source charge is plus q, s charge is small q. The distance between r and the distance between q and q is more than the electric force is less. Distance between q and capital Q source charge and s charge q is less. And automatically the electric force is less. Distance is more, force is less because it is inversely proportional to R square. Distance increases, force decreases. Quite natural. Gravitational force is also like that. Distance between the earth and the sun is what it is, depending upon the mass actually, it depends upon the mass also in one into two. So as the distance between the two bodies increases, automatically the gravitational force decreases. Similarly, distance between the two charges increases, the electric force decreases. Distance decreases, and then the electric force increases between those two charges. Therefore, it is variable force. The electric force is not constant, variable force. For variable force, last year we have seen work done by variable force in displacing the charge in displacing the body from x1 to x2 is denoted by delta w. So a small displacement from x1 to x2 is that a body displaced from x1 to r x2. A small displacement dx is the small displacement by an external force f bar. If the body is displaced from x1 to x2. If the force is a variable force, then the work done will be small work done delta w is equal to high small work done. If a displacement is small, then this work done will be small. So F is not a constant force, variable force. Then work done will be X integration from X1 to X2. F bar dot dx bar. F bar is the variable force. Dx bar is the small displacement in the body. Then small work done. Therefore, here it is. The work done will be calculated by integration because electric force is an 
no, sorry, it is not a constant force, it is a variable force. Therefore, for work done, if the force is constant, then the work done will be delta W is equal to simply F dot, it is dx. Integration of the law, it is F dot dx. Huh? The work done will be force into displacement. If the force is variable, then integration. Okay. Uh, it is <coughs> infinity to P. The potential energy of the charge small q at the point P, at the point P, okay, at the point P is equal to at the point P is equal to the P D bar, P bar, then the electric field E bar generated by a certain the test charge Q is displaced from infinity to the point P. Dr is the dr is the small bar displacement, dr bar rotation I will use. Dr bar is the small displacement. Okay. Up is equal to minus infinity to p fx1 dot dr bar. It, it, because it is the what it is? A formula for the small work done in displacing the charge to a small distance dr. When the small work done delta w is integration is summing process. Is the sum integration is summing integration the summing process. The small work done dr bar displacement the small displacement the so infinity to this much of displacement is small displacement is taken a small work will be done delta w. Then the work done in displacing the charge from infinity to the point p is the sum of all the small work done. Small work done. Therefore, something we have formula in the integration integration infinity to the point p. Okay, infinity to the point P, fx1 dot dr1, it is a small one, then delta w of the thing, it is delta w, small one, then another, small one, then another, total one, then. integration is a summing process, total one, then you are getting the total work done, the total work done, is that with the what potential energy of the charge, therefore infinity to the point P, it will work done formula, okay, fx1 dot dr1 is the work done formula. Okay, that's equal to the minus to the point. Why minus is taken? Infinity to the point P. The work is done moving the charge from infinity to the point P. Work is done here, moving the charge Q from infinity to the point P. With the sum of small work done. With the small work done formula, F external force, force external applied, F bar external means externally applied force, dot dr bar in the small work done formula. So small work done is added by integration because integration will not be together with the rest. Force is variable one. So, the total work done you are getting. The total work done is stored in the charge in the form of potential energy. Then that potential energy is denoted by U. And the potential energy at the point P is there. Therefore, UP. Okay. So, F external is equal to minus F, you know, minus AP. Therefore, it is minus F external generally minus AP bar dot dr bar. Actually, what is the electric force? Electric force on the charge Q is given by Q in T bar. No? The formula is the first topic. The first topic is the first Q in T. The charge force on the charge Q. Electric force on the charge Q. F is equal to. So Q in T e. e is the field and Q is the charge. With the charge force on the charge Q. If the, with the force, F is equal to electric force on the charge Q. Equals to Q in P is the field, electric field at that point. Okay, so therefore it is force in the electric force of formula Q into E. E and the other one upon four pi epsilon one Q divided by R square E formula dot E R one. Okay, so here is one upon four pi epsilon the previous one. So this is the definition of what electric potential energy of a charge at the point P in the field of a certain charge configuration. I will repeat the definition. Electric potential energy of charge because this definition is used to derive a derivation. Okay, later on. Electric potential energy of charge Q at a point P in the field E bar of a certain configuration of charges if the work done by the external force which is equal and opposite to the electrostatic force the effect is equal to minus a field in moving the charge from infinity to the point P. 
the for electric tension energy of a charge Q, just charge Q at the point P denoted by UP, is the work done. What is the work done formula? Force into displacement. So when the body charge is displaced by small displacement dr1, then the work done will be f x will be dot dr1 dot. This is the dot product, okay? Because the W is equal to f bar dot s the bar. So small displacement, then small work done delta W is there. Such so all small work done is added for the entire path from infinity to P, then the total work done will be there. The total work done will be taken by the integration formula. Totaling is done by integration. When the weight quantity is variable, then the totaling is by integration. When the quantity is discrete, then the totaling is by summing is by summation. Sigma of a sigma equation is what the quantity discrete one continuous again in the integration or variable again in the integration of the summing process in integration okay integration from infinity to the point p today but it is totaling process integration of the total work totaling of what small work done where small work done is the displacement is small work done is the work done in displacing the charge q to a small distance dr eager Actually, charge is displaced from infinity to the point P over a long distance it is displaced. Then the, the, oh, the displacement, sorry, work done in displacement, uh, work done on the uh, by the external force in displacing the charge by small displacement dr bar is delta W and delta W is equal to what? F bar dot dr bar. Such small work done is added by integration over the entire path of minus infinity to P. The addition is by integration, then the total work done you are getting. The total work done is stored in the charge in the form of electric potential energy. So for f external dot dr bar, this is a summing of what? Small work done. Integration of small work done. Sorry, totaling of small work done is there. Totaling is by integration, then you are getting the total work done. The total work done will be stored in the form of the form of electric potential energy in the charge that is denoted by UP. So f external is equal to minus F bar. Then F E is equal to what? Q into electric force in formula is Q into E in the first chapter. Electric force F is equal to Q into E notation and use modulus and the important derivation and the next to the Okay. Now in the job coming back to this picture, move from R to P. Here R the potential energy is UP. At the key point the potential energy is the U R potential energy of the charge is UP. From each and every point, R point the potential energy according to that definition is UR. UR is equal to minus infinity to R. Same expressions are same. UP and from infinity to P. Then <coughs> total the as the charge moves from U P R to P and the charge is displaced from R to P. Then the there's a potential energy difference. Here when the energy is there, U R and UP. The potential energy difference is equal to up minus ur up minus ur is equal to so as the charge two numbers so as the charge is displaced from the point as the charge like definition would be to okay this is a little bit derivation given as the charge as the test charge as the test charge q the concept of thermodynamic electric Potential, the electric field, the difficult concepts. Okay, easy concept. And the test charge Q is displaced from point R to P. R to P. Where? Where UP and UR. UR and UP are the potential energy of the charges of the charge Q, the charge Q, same charge Q at the point R and P respectively are the where U R and UP are the potential energy short here like potential energy, okay? Electric potential energy, electric word but good thing, okay. Electric potential energy is have an hence on electric sales for this topic. Electric Potential energies energies E N E R G 
Shiva and his energies at the point 